What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy, Kid, back at it again. Hope everyone is doing great. We're going to be continuing on with the journey uh, in baby steps, boys and girls. I do repeat, in baby steps. Um, we This suggestion comes from Kevin. It's in a smaller dose, four minutes, which is good for me. Uh, me personally, I, I cannot digest like, you know, like an hour video explaining stuff because it's going to go in and out my ears so this is basically a beginner's guide and i repeat that beginner's guide so it um in four minutes so i seriously doubt it explains every single thing possible but i hope that it's going to be easily uh, digestible for me so title of this is the rules of association football soccer or association football boys and girls explained so let's get it boys and girls class is in session and um let's let's get it Nin explains the rules of association football. Association football, more commonly known as soccer in North America, and football pretty much everywhere else in the world, is a game played with two teams of 18 players, with 11 players taking the field at any one time. The object of the game is for your team to score more goals than the opposing team. To score a goal, you must put the ball in your opponent's goal. For it to count, the whole of the ball must cross the goal line. In football, you're allowed to touch the ball with every part of your body except your arms. The main way to move the ball is to kick the ball to a teammate, which is known as a pass, or run with the ball whilst controlling it with your feet, known as dribbling. When the ball is in the air, players can head or chest the ball as well. Teams will usually orchestrate passes and dribbles so that the ball travels up the field so that they can score. The defending team will try and stop you by tackling. They can intercept passes, block shots, or try and kick the ball away from you and move the ball in the other direction so that they can score themselves. A defender must be careful here, as if the referee decides that they made contact with the player without touching the ball, or made contact without trying to win the ball, he can award a foul against them. Fouls usually lead to free kicks, but can also lead to a yellow card, which is a warning, or a red card, where you are sent off the pitch. Two yellow cards equals one red card. The game is played in two halves of 45 minutes, for a total playing time of 90 minutes. There's a 15 minute break at half time. Unlike most other sports, in football, when there is a stoppage in play, the clock does not stop. Instead, a referee will add the amount of time all the stoppages last for, and they will play this as added time at the end of each half. Highest score at the end of 90 minutes, plus added time, wins. There are ties in football, and if both teams have the same amount of goals at the end of time, this is declared as a draw. Football is a really simple game, and that's basically it, but there's a few more things that you'll need to understand before playing or watching a game. For example, Substitution. A team can change up to three players during a match. To do this, they must inform the fourth official of who they want to take off and who they want to put on. Only in a stoppage of play can a substitution be made. A team cannot change a player if he's already been sent off. Handball. If you happen to touch the ball with an arm, forearm, elbow or hand, the referee will call handball against you and possession of the ball is awarded to the other team. Okay. If you commit handball in your own penalty box, the other team will be awarded a penalty kick. Penalty kick. If a defender handles the ball in the penalty box or brings down an attacker with a scoring chance in the box, the referee will award a penalty kick to the other team. The ball will be placed on the spot and any attacking player can try and score with one kick against the goalie. If a shot is scored, it counts as a goal. If a shot is missed and it goes out of play, it's a goal kick. If a shot is blocked, the ball is in play and anybody can touch it. Throw in, goal kick, corner kick and free kick. If the ball leaves the field of play, the ball is awarded to the team who did not touch it last. If the ball leaves the sides of the field, a throw-in is awarded to the other team. If you touched it last and it goes out behind your opponent's goal line, a goal kick is awarded to the other team. If you touched it last and it goes out behind your own goal line, a corner kick is awarded to the other team. In the event of a foul, a referee can award a free kick to the team who was fouled. Offside. Ah, the dreaded offside rule. To put it in simple terms, imagine a line that extends from your opponent's last defender. You cannot be past that imaginary line when a pass is being played towards you. Okay. If you are past the last defender before the ball is passed to you, this is offside and will result in the other team being awarded the ball. For you to be onside, you must be in front of, or parallel to, the last defender when a pass is being played towards you. This is a lot to take in, but it's one of the easiest sports to understand. If you watch a game or two, you'll probably pick up the rules after just a few matches. 
If you have found this video at all helpful, please like, comment, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things and good karma is always appreciated. If you're also on Reddit, you can post this video and discuss it there. But in the meantime, enjoy football or soccer if you prefer. Enjoy football. All right. So it is a lot to digest. I'm not going to lie. It is a lot to digest. We most likely have to watch this a couple of times. But as a as a first thing, um, I could try to get some similarities to. Uh, so you have the two yellow cards that will equal. If you get two yellow cards, you'll equal a red. So like with basketball, if you get two um, technical fouls, you get ejected. So that's what I take from that part right there. The one thing that for me with an educational video, and we'll make sure that we leave the link so you guys can like, comment, all that good stuff um, for the video. Um, and this is just me nitpicking a little bit. I was extremely distracted with the music that's in there because I'm trying to learn and I'm just hearing like I'm in a club. So um, I found that to not be helpful. I know this is a little nitpicking, but you know, I'm trying to learn. I, I can't have music blasting in the background. It, so it, it, it kind of was very distracting. And this is why I have to watch this one a couple of times now, because I was more distracted with the music than listening into the guy's voice. Um, that's that's one negative for me right there. So, you know, I like the dribbling aspect, the passing aspect. The the line rule would be the equivalent if a basketball player kind of um gets the ball, it's outside, so they um the other team gets the ball. So there's some similarities that I really do like. The penalty thing is something that I kind of um Again, I haven't really watched much games, but just hearing about a penalty shootout, I like that because in hockey we have penalty shootouts and that's some of the most exciting things that happen. So I would definitely feel in those situations that a they would be like very um you would be like having extreme pressure. Those are you know, like all eyes are on you because it's it's make or break time. So there's a lot of cool things about football. Um you know, forgive me if I say soccer sometimes as well, because again, that's what we, we know to say it. So we're not trying to purposely offend anybody. Um, so take it with a grain of salt. So with football, you know, there are, are it is very interesting sport for me. Um, I did play a little bit in school, like in, um, you know, like grade school and high school. And it was a fun, you know, fun sport. So it kind of like when I see this, it just reminds me of the good days of uh, playing a lot of sports and I miss the school days. But um, I think it's very interesting. I think what would be cool for us, um, maybe you guys can help me out with this. Name some of the um, best football players so we, maybe we can see some sort of a small compilation. Nothing that's too long because we do need to take this thing into small doses. But um, it's definitely a video that when you watch it the first time, I, I'm not going to pick up every single term in, in one thing. Um, I only picked up three or four just from now, even the amount of players. So 11 on the team, 18 total players, uh, per team. So that I definitely didn't know, um, how many is given on a thing and you learn a little bit. Um, you can't use your hands and stuff that I guess the only person that could use hands, correct me or not, is the goalie. Cause when he's deflecting the, uh, football, or um so that's that's about it so for for a newbie uh or beginner i think that this video is easily digestible minus the music which was very distracting for me uh my attention span needs to focus in on something so when i'm here doo, 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 you know i'm like i'm like i don't know if i'm supposed to be nodding my head or not so um that's my only one take that i i wish it wasn't music because it, it guy has a great voice or whoever is narrating it has a great voice ex uh, explaining this stuff, but I'm easily a little distracted. My attention span is not there. So, um, but uh, yeah, I definitely think this is an enjoyable video. It does explain a lot. I think new people like myself would have to watch it a couple of times. I know it's very simple for most people because this is a sport that um, many have grew up watching and, you know, but you know, it's, it would be the equivalent of someone who's going to watch a sport uh, for the first time. They have to do it in kind of a small dose and stuff. But one Number one, though, I can definitely say playing playing soccer has been uh, or football was very fun doing. I, I really enjoy uh, the sport. So I like that. So we need to learn more in small doses. If there's other videos that are smaller in length, you know, a couple of minutes, four, 10 minutes, nothing crazy because, um, you know, we have to do it in small doses. So I enjoyed the video. 
Um, a little distracting on some parts, but I think that from today, at least right now in this current stage, we picked up a couple of things. We'll watch it again on our free time, but we honestly cannot, we're not going to lie and say, okay, from this one video watching it one time, I know every little thing about soccer. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Thanks for, uh, if you guys want to explain certain things for me in the comments, that's okay with me too. Um, we're never going to be an expert. So the only way to learn is by watching and, 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 and reading comments from you all. So if you are, have some expertise in it, um, don't hesitate to help out. I'm eager to learn. Um, I only wish like it, it's sometimes not as easily accessible to watch, um, the sport. Like you have to have certain channels, um, or, or certain packages and, and I don't have, so I, unfortunately, you know, as much as I want to watch a lot of the games, it, it's, it's a lot harder for me unless I have a certain package. So, um, we just try to see what we can, but, um, YouTube is our way. We're going to learn some more stuff. So if you want me to learn more, please help me out with some suggestions in the comment section. Thank you for watching a noob, um, learn a little bit more about football. Um, I'm excited to learn more. So that's what we're going to try to do on this channel among the other things that we watch. So thanks so much for hanging out. If you appreciate it, um, yeah, make sure I'll leave the link of the um, the original video. Uh, I do my best to tr try to remember to leave the video links there. So um, give that guy a like because it does take time for making videos. We know that much. Uh, so give him a like, guys. See you next time. Peace and love. Thank you, everybody. Peace.